Reuters. And I'd like you to ask you to stand and raise your right hand. You uh, promised to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. Thank you. My name and identity were carelessly and recklessly abused by senior government officials in both the White House and the State Department. All of them understood that I worked for the CIA, and having signed oaths to protect national security secrets, they should have been diligent in protecting me and every CIA officer. Testimony in the criminal trial of Vice President Cheney's former chief of staff, who has now been convicted on seri of serious crimes, indicates that my exposure arose from purely political motives. Within the CIA, it is essential that all intelligence be evalu evaluated on the basis of its merits and actual credibility. National security depends upon it. The tradecraft of intelligence is not a product of speculation. I feel passionately as an intelligence professional about the creeping, insidious politicizing of our intelligence process. All intelligence professionals are dedicated to the ideal that they would rather be fired on the spot than distort the facts to fit a political view, any political view or any ideology. As our intelligence agencies go through reorganizations and experience the painful aspects of change, and our country faces profound challenges, injecting partisanship or ideology into the equation makes effective and accurate intelligence that much more difficult to develop.